So you're struggling to come up with video ideas for your business. Don't worry, you're not alone. And in this video, I'm going to show you three simple ways to generate some ideas for your videos. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna give you an invitation to my free training masterclass, which will get you creating a video marketing plan for your business. So all of that's coming up real soon, so stick around. Hey, I'm Francesca, and if this is your first time here, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you get notified of my weekly videos all about getting you creating videos better and faster for your business. But before we start, put in the comments below how you've been coming up with your video ideas. So a lot of people say to me, oh, I just wait until a video idea comes and inspires me. But the problem is, in order for video to be effective, you need to be making them regularly and waiting for an idea to pop up may never happen. And to be honest, the good ideas are the ones you're gonna be searching for because they're gonna be the ones that your audience actually wants. Okay, not quite searching like that, but when you do look into what it is your audience wants, that's actually how you get people to watch your video. And let's kick off with our first tip, super easy, but really effective. YouTube search and a keyword plugin. So what you'll be doing with this is searching for the most popular searched keywords on YouTube. Step one is to install the Keyword Everywhere plugin for Google Chrome. Now this will tell you search volume. So now all you need to do is go to YouTube and start typing in some things that you think people might be searching for that are relevant to your industry or your niche. So we could do uh, a big a health one here. So how to lose, we can see here that uh, the searches are showing that how to lose belly fat specifically and how to lose weight are getting the most searches, but other topics are how to lose weight fast, how to lose stomach fat. So we can see how often these things are being searched using the keywords everywhere plugin. So another industry we could do is maybe health food. So how to eat healthy. So we got uh, a big market here, how to eat healthy, 14,000, how to eat healthy and lose weight, 880, still a good number how to eat healthy on a budget. So you could be talking to each of those terms, knowing that people are searching for that content. Research your competitors. Chances are there's someone out there doing what it is you do. So go and find them and look for their most popular videos. And no, don't copy them, but there are two things you can do. And the first is to see what's working well for them, the content that they're making, and you make it, but better and put your own unique twist onto it. The other thing to do is to expose a gap of how you can make yourself unique and see what they're offering and what they're not. And then research that stuff they're not offering using the YouTube keyword search to find out if you should be making videos on it. By offering something that they're not offering, as long as it meets your audience's needs, you're more likely to outrank them, especially on places like YouTube. So you can start putting some of those ideas now that you're coming up with into action don't forget that at the end of this video, I'm gonna be letting you know how you can join my free training session to create a video marketing plan for your business. Facebook groups. So this is a great place to find out what people are struggling with. And there's two things you can do here. The first is to head to a group that has over a thousand people in it, in your niche, and search for keywords that would relate to content you wanna put out. If that's something they're struggling with, you can make a video on it. The second is, if you have a Facebook group of your own, make sure you've set up the questions that people need to answer before approving them, and specifically put one in there about what they are struggling with. But make sure you take screenshots because Facebook doesn't store or collect that information anywhere. And what you'll notice, take those screenshots, is you'll see a trend develop over time of what people are struggling with, and then you can make videos about that. So there you have it, some simple ways you can start generating some ideas for videos for your business. And as promised, an invitation to my free training, five steps to creating a video marketing plan for your business that actually gets you customers. So there's a link to sign up for that free training session just down below. I'm super excited to be holding it. It's all about getting you results with your videos instead of this haphazard video making, spending lots of time making videos and not seeing any results. That's gonna change once you watch this free training session. So I look forward to seeing you there. Now remember to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Francesca. And until next time, happy filming.